This episode is presented by Supercuts. It's not just any haircut, it's Supercuts. Disney gave Cap and Tony Chinese cell phones, replaced a Tibetan hero with Tilda Swinton, and thanked prison camp bureaucrats at the end of Mulan. But now, the Magic Kingdom will pander to the Middle Kingdom by making a pretty kick-ass martial arts movie. Okay, it's better than that time they dropped a full episode of ER Shanghai and Iron Man 3. I am shocked this wasn't in the American cut. Shang Chi. For the very first time, the MCU is bringing a martial arts master from the comics to the screen. Yep, the very first time. The Iron Fist. La 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 la. Sorry, can't hear you. As audiences finally get to know Shang Chi, a guy whose most relatable quality is that he's also getting to know Shang Chi. Who are you? Your mother knew who she was. Do you? Who the hell are you? I'm not who you think I am. Just like Spider-Man, he's a Parker with a secret identity because underneath his obligatory abs beats the heart of a martial arts master. Martial arts expert. Martial arts enthusiast. But nothing will come between this one-punch man-child and the ultimate power fantasy. No, not joining the Avengers. Kicking your father's ass. Oedipus Punch? The MCU's greatest threat has returned. Bad dads. Tony Long shines as the most seamless example yet of digitally de-aged actors. What do you mean he still looks like that? Wow. Not bad. Kneel before this ancient warlord who still doesn't know the difference between rings and bracelets, who gave up all his power for a lady who blew him in the woods. In addition to his 10 magic bracelets, he also commands the 10 rings, a secret group like Hydra, or Shield, or Sword, or the Scrolls, or the Hand, or the Eternals. But what sets them apart from Marvel's other Illuminatis, and presumably Marvel's Illuminati, is that the 10 rings provide exciting new opportunities in the world of evil franchising. He appropriated the Ten Rings. My Ten Rings. Open up a Ten Rings in a country near you. We're more than just an evil franchise. We're an evil family. 20% cash down payment required. Journey to Ta Lo. Presumably the inspiration for ancient Chinese legends. Ancient Middle Earth legends. And legendary Pokemon for a film that blends the action comedy of a Jackie Chan flick with the high-flying combat of Wuxia and the CGI toilet slurry of a Marvel third act. Because while an emotional, expertly choreographed martial arts showdown between father and son is cool, isn't it way cooler when a bunch of weightless polygons smash into each other? No? Then why does it keep happening? Chung won't have to fight alone. He's joined by his sister, Zha Ling, who learned to fight just by auditing classes at Murder University. Trevor Slatterly, who pissed nerds off so much in Iron Man 3 that his only friend is a psychic chicken made out of butts. Where's his face? Mm -hmm. Psychic butt chicken. Ah. And Aquafina, who pulls off four classic Marvel roles at the same time. Platonic love interest, reaction face giver, the that just happened, sidekick. The guy with a freaking machete for an arm just chopped our butts in half. Sean used the ten rings to like do this like crazy Kamehameha fireball that exploded the thing. And that dragon vomited a magical water map, and now I have no idea what's real. And Hawkeye. Upgrade. So for a franchise whose roots are an openly racist money grab, enjoy a film that does its part to smash those stereotypes, except the one about Asian dudes being the biggest sneakerheads, in this solid martial arts fantasy flick full of fun characters that refreshingly stands on its own without resorting to crossovers and team-ups. Until after the credits, of course. They don't match any artifacts from our codex. They're not vibranium. Not like any alien tech I've seen. This could have been an email. Starring. Destiny's Child Soldier, Ring Pop, House of Flying Swagger, 
the human calendar. We've been friends for 10 years, okay? You know I'm not an idiot. I've been by your side for half your life. Your dad trained you to be an assassin when you were seven. He sent you on a hit at 14. Can you punch with all the colors of the wind? Deputy Dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, your name is, is Razor Fist? And ma'am, render the last dragon. Your soul is mine. A normal day on the SF Metro. And how Marvel casts its male heroes. Love that guy. I'll take your shirt off. Once upon a time in a China adjacent pocket dimension. Hmm, so Shang-Chi works with cars. He's not proud of who he used to be. And he has a difficult relationship with his dad. Something about that backstory seems convenient. Hey, Screen Junkies, before Hawkeye comes out, we decided to check the career stats on three of cinema's greatest archers. Who's the best bowman of all time? Yeah, we all know it's gonna be Legolas, but how much better is he than Hawkeye or Katniss? Click the thumbnail on the right to find out in an all-new episode of By the Numbers. This episode was presented by Supercuts, the smarter, easier way to get a haircut. It's not just any haircut, it's Supercuts. Check in today on our mobile app or supercuts.com. I like chicken nachos on Thanksgiving. Skid a rink, a dink, a dink, skid a rink, a do. I love you.